From sending warnings to taking action himself, Michael Burry is slowly shielding himself from the upcoming dark period of hyperinflation, with the main aim of making some hefty profits in the process. The SEC 13F filings, which unveil the major holdings by institutional managers having over $100 million of assets under management, revealed some shocking yet extremely risky moves made by Michael Burry. It's no surprise that Michael Burry is the only person capable of taking such risky and leveraged positions. In today's video, we will dissect Michael Burry's game plan for hyperinflation according to SEC 13F filing. We all know, when a stock market crashes, the stocks falling under the technical sectors are the ones to take the first hit. Similarly, the most prominent position in Burry's portfolio right now is long put positions against 800,100 shares of Tesla, which equals a whopping $530 million. To put his gains against Tesla in perspective, he started targeting Tesla when it was trading around $800. Fast forward to today, the stock is trading at $595. In this whole process, Burry has undoubtedly made some serious dollars, and he has no plans to put his position against Tesla at a halt, as this position takes 40% of his entire portfolio. However, this position does not justify the upcoming inflation, and inflation is the topmost thing Burry is vocal about. Michael Burry tweeted an extract from the book The Dying of Money, which talks about the hyperinflation in Germany during 1914 till 1923. He tweeted, the life of the inflation in its ripening stage was a paradox which had its own unmistakable characteristics. One was the great wealth, at least of those favored by the boom. Many great fortunes sprang overnight. The cities had an aimless and wanton youth. Now, let's dig into those positions that really justify the upcoming hyperinflation. Michael Burry's second major position, according to SEC 13F, is the put option against 1,266,400 shares of iShares 20 plus year treasury bond ETF. Burry has staked approximately $170 million on this position. To understand how Burry aims to profit from this position, you must know that bond prices fall whenever interest rates rise. With this concept in mind, if hyperinflation occurs, the Feds will be forced to raise the interest rates, and voila, Burry will be going home with a bag full of cash. Now, let's switch our focus to the call options in Burry's portfolio. Michael Burry's two major call options cement the fact that things are about to get out of hand in the near future. Burry has a call option positioned against 2,536,000 shares of ProShares Trust Ultra Short Lehman 20 plus year Treasury ETF, TBT, and 38 8,400 shares of Direxion Daily 20 plus year treasury bear three times shares TMV. Now, the name must not confuse you because the workings of these ETFs are relatively simple. Both of them are highly leveraged and inverse ETFs. The TBT corresponds two times the inverse of the daily performance of the US Treasury 20 plus year bond index. This means if the 20 plus year bond index goes down, the price of TBT will increase. Similarly, TMV is three times the inverse of the daily performance of the U.S. Treasury 20 plus year bond index. To explain everything in layman's terms, these ETFs will go up in price if the interest rates rise. However, the crucial thing to consider is that they are extremely risky and leveraged ETFs, and many investors try avoiding them at all costs. But things are different when you are Michael Burry. Burry only takes such risks when he is sure that something is inevitable, such as the 2008 housing crash. To help you grasp the extent of risk Burry is carrying in his portfolio, you must understand that these ETFs are already leveraged, and when you trade these ETFs with a put or call option, you are enhancing the risk by a massive factor. So, you can consider them as a high-risk, high-reward ETF, and you should only put your hands in these high-leveraged ETFs when you have a deep understanding of them. From the way things are shaping, it seems that Burry is about to have a payday greater than the 2008 housing market crash. His prophecy of hyperinflation is slowly becoming a reality. You can see the massive price hikes in commodities. You can see how the stock market is extremely inflated. To give you a gist of hyperinflation in the stock market, Tesla is currently standing at a P.E. ratio of 580, and the average P.E. ratio is supposed to be around 17 to 20, and is one of many reasons why Burry decided to bet against Tesla. The feds have printed an enormous amount of money, and the money circulation is a lot. People have more money to spend than ever. The demand for goods and services is increasing at an exponential rate, and the supply is tight. All these things are signs of the calm before the storm. To top this all, the housing prices are inflating at a fast pace. You can see inflation everywhere, and soon, you will see inflation taking the shape of hyperinflation. Now, the question is why you should trust Michael Burry. First and foremost, he prophesied the housing market crash and made some 
bucks for himself. Burry was one of the lone warriors who went long on GameStop when every hedge fund on Wall Street was short. Burry's resume is not ending here. He was the one who pointed the shortcomings in Tesla's stock when it was at its peak and everyone ignored him. Look at Tesla's stock now. Now you know how Burry is preparing himself for hyperinflation. And before you go and replicate his investment positions, you must do your own due diligence and then execute the investment calls. Time will tell whether we will see hyperinflation in the future or not. But if we do, Burry will be the only investor coming out victorious from the darkest economic times.